Hi friends. So here's a story from 21 years ago. 21 years ago, I took a road trip out west. I went to work with horses in Montana. And after that, I went to Oregon. And in Oregon, I visited a close friend of mine, Heidi, who was working at a youth hostel in Seaside, Oregon. Now I should say this was March, April. It was April. So Seaside didn't see a lot of tourists that time of the year. It's very rainy when I was there, kind of gloomy, but beautiful and peaceful. And Heidi had been working at this youth hostel for two years. So she had been working at this youth hostel for two years. And um, I remember visiting, I think it was three nights and four days or two nights and three days or something like that. And one of the mornings I decided I wanted to go to the beach and Heidi had to work. So she told me, when you go down to the beach, you should see if you could find an intact sand dollar, you know, the, the white sand dollars. And she said um, that in the two years that she had been there and going to the beach often, um, she still had not been able to find one. And that sand dollars were kind of a prized thing, intact ones were kind of a prized thing on the, in that town on the Oregon coast because due to the rockiness of the shoreline, you know, the Oregon coast is just beautiful with beautiful rock formations. But due to all those stones, um, the sand dollars often get get smashed as they are rolling into, um, getting rolled into the shoreline. So one can find sand dollars, but often there'll be pieces missing. And I said, okay, didn't think that much of it. I actually took a little net bag with me to the beach because I went to the beach with the intention of maybe finding some smooth stones, some smooth stones for massage. Um, I was still doing massage at the time. Anyway, um, so I take off and it's this, like I said, this foggy morning and I'm, I'm walking through this town seaside by myself down to the beach. And I came past a lot of little, you know, beach town houses that were proudly displaying intact sand dollars. In fact, um, most people had put them on, on like little wooden plaques and hung them in their screened in porches. So I thought, wow, this really is a thing. The sand dollar, the intact sand dollars. And um, anyway, I go down to the beach and I got there and it was, it was beautiful. I was by myself and it started to rain and I could see, you know, way out into the ocean, but there was fog and it was just this magical misty morning all by myself at this beach in uh, Seaside, Oregon in April. And as I was looking out, over the water, where the water was shallow as it was coming in and then going back out. I noticed something and to this day I can't really even describe what I saw because it wasn't really a physical ripple in the water. It was more like the energy of a ripple. It was just something energetic, something that I saw at the surface of the water, as if the water was talking to me. And I walked right over to that spot. And, you know, the water was only shallow at that moment. Right over to that spot, and I reached down, and there was an intact sand dollar, completely intact, no pieces missing. And I thought to myself, wow, <laughs> okay, that's pretty amazing. And as I stood up and I looked out 
over the surface of the water, it happened again. And I, I saw something hard to describe. And I walked to that spot and I bent down and there was another intact sand dollar. And I knew, I knew right away that this was not an accident. And as I stood up and I looked out over the surface, as far as the eye could see, I saw this happening. These energetic ripples, that's all I know how to call them. It's as if I had gotten into resonance with these sand dollars. And I could see exactly where they were. And I walked from one to the next and I just picked them up and I put them in that bag that I had originally intended for the stones and I just kept going and I would walk straight to them bend down pick one up and not a single one even had a crack they were all completely intact and um, there was actually a couple the only other people on the beach there was a couple in the distance and they had started coming closer and as they got closer the woman, um, I think, realized what I was doing and she started almost frantically looking around for these sand dollars. But I didn't say a word. I just kept, kept moving because I didn't want to get out of the energy of it. And, um, and I was just picking up one after another after another. She couldn't see them. It was like she was at a different, <laughs> at a different frequency. And after a while of running around and looking for them and not seeing them, they gave up and they continued walking down the beach. And I just kept going and I was in this blissed out at one with the web of life. It was definitely a defining moment in my life. And I just kept putting them in my bag. And then eventually the rain just got harder and I thought to myself, you know, maybe that's enough. And so I, I left. I could have kept going. I left. And I came back to the youth hostel. And I told my friend Heidi what had happened. And when we unpacked uh, the bag, I think there were 49 completely intact sand dollars. And yeah. I have pictures to prove it. <laughs> Not that I need to prove it, but Heidi was there. And uh, maybe I can tag her in the story. It's a true story. And it really, really was an important moment in my life. So I just thought I would share. I have more to share, maybe for another night. Okay, bye friends.